Ahoy, my friends, Ryder here. All right, so heading back into Porcelain Tower. Today, I'm gonna take on floors 67 and 68. So looking at this right off the bat, it looks like we have a full mono earth uh, set of enemies here. There's two Maroboros, so I'm gonna keep that in mind. We have the two Cactuars. Those can be a little bit of a pain sometimes, but I'm not too worried about it. Looks like we have two physical DPS Pike users. It looks like two book users that looks like a very similar icon, maybe arithmetician. And then in the back right here, I can't really see what symbol that is. So, and then two unknowns. So gonna go in, uh, clearly gonna run a mono wind team. It's all earth. Um, so let's go through here and make sure that all my trust stones are set it, or my TMRs are set. Tifa is good, Tubi is good, Leela is good, Joom is good. Normally I would run uh, Titus's shoes. I mean, the reason why I just have five TM or TMRs is because I've already set these stones. I know which ones are good for physical units. I know which ones are good for um, magic units, etc. So this is like a set that I use on tanks. It gives defense up and agility. We also have this one right here. This one is set up uh, evasion and magic up. Um, but like all of these have 12 passives, um, a lot of them are more or less finished. So like this one right here is basically completely leveled. Um, so I could run Ayaka with Titus's shoes, uh, which is pretty good, but not really meant for a magic user. But because I saw the two Marlboros, I think I'm going to leave her with her own shoes on, even though she won't get such a boost from it. Um, I think I will put on, let's see, she's not going to be doing any attacking. Here we have magic attack up, magic attack up, magic attack up. This one has a lot of innate magic to it. This one has piercing. All right, so I'm probably going to run her with the Prunus Lamina. Okay. And then for her, I think I will run, t -t 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 -t. let's run the smart coat. And looking at her setup, Leela is already using Bahamut. So let's see which espers Ayaka has resonance with. She has resonance with Diablo, Shiva, and Siren. I think I will leave her on Shiva. She's the fastest. And for her primary card, she's running Helena, so everyone's going to get a speed boost to the entire team. I'm good with that. With her secondary card, I think I'll switch her off Ramu and put her on something more defensive. Since I'm not running Ifrit, I think I'm actually going to run this card right here, Bringers of Shadow. It'll still give her uh, a basic magic stat and some HP. She's not going to get this bonus, it's fire only. But it will give attack up to the rest of the team. Okay, so that being said, it looks like on Tifa, I'm going to switch her off this Esper and put her on, hmm, let's see. Let's check what Tifa's Esper resonance is. Okay, so she has Titan, Tetrasilphid, Odin, and Golem. I think I will probably run her on Odin. And then on 2B, we'll run Tetrasilphid. Okay, so that's looking good so far. It looks like we have the Black Garb on 2B. For Tifa, I think we will run her with the Ribbon. Evasion up 10, and then we have Evade up 15. Let's see what her Evade is. Only 47 with the Ribbon, but if I put on the Winter Coat, she'll go to 56. But I think maybe I just want her to have... I think I want little Leela to have more evade, even though I don't think she has that much. So let's see right here. Okay, 86 evade. So, so not bad at all. And actually what I could do is throw on the Shiva card. That's going to add some evade. So we can see right now she should be at 96. Okay, so 96 evade. If we go over to 2B right here and we check her evade, she's above 100, so that's going to be pretty good. And it looks like all in all for the cards, it's looking also pretty good. I'm running Fenrir on Joom, 
So let's look at Joom's stats right here. She's sitting at almost 12k HP, 103 agility, 1100 attack without a weapon, so not bad at all. Defense 68, Spirit 21. In the back end, she's got 44% slash resist, 30% pierce, 17% missile, 35% magic. Okay, so totally geared more for uh, magic tanking. I could take her off uh, Ardimon and put her on Fenrir. Doesn't look like she has resonance with Fenrir. She does not, but she does have resonance with Omega. Okay, so now we have her at 53 defense, 21 spirit. But in the back end, it evens out more. So it looks like I'm going to go with this. Okay, it looks we got 53 plus 32 and 50 plus 21. Okay, so not bad. All right, so I'm going to keep her right there. Little Leela right here. She's sitting at 7.3k HP. Not bad. 99 agility. Almost 1600 magic. Not bad at all. 6 defense, 11 spirit. Her back end resistance is not the best but her magic resistance quite amazing 65 percent a little surprising actually to see that okay what else we got we got 2b she's over 100 agility 7.3 khp 98 agility or yeah 98 agility uh 96 or over 100 evasion and 1750 attack so pretty high i think this is the highest i've uh, gotten her defense 12 spirit 6 her back end resistances are not bad, better than I thought. Pierce is quite low. Magic, not bad. Missile, okay. Strike, okay. Slash is decent. And let's go into Ayaka. She's, <laughs> okay, so she's definitely looking like a 99 unit. She has barely 5k HP, 96 agility, 813 magic, 11 defense, 18 spirit, and 48% magic resist in the back, and negative 5 to all the other ones. So not bad, but I'm definitely going to have to keep her away from literally everything. Um, Tifa has around 8.6k HP, 100 agility, almost 1500 attack, defense 16, spirit 6, and not bad resistances as well. Alright, so that being said, I think we're just about ready to go. Um, let me check everyone's sub job, main job. Okay, we'll go monk with Tifa. Uh, with her we'll go time mage, that's good. I'm good with Nightblade, Little Leela and White Mage, alright, and 2B will go Samurai, let's see, yeah, we'll go Samurai, alright, so heading out into the first battle right here, we'll see how it goes, uh, essentially my priority right now is going to be to take out the Marlboros as quickly as possible, um, without getting hit by any of those status effects. It looks like we have a Yaka paired with Jum and Tifa up here. Um, so let's see. All right. Oh, wait a second. All right, so let's look around. So we have the two guys down here. We have an Ovis soldier at 20k HP. We have the two Pike guys back there. The Marlboros are all the way in the back. Okay. And it looks like we have stairs going down to the right and some type of stairs in front of us. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to slowly move everyone down this way right here. It looks like those guys will, are going to come up the flank a little bit. Uh, for Joom, I'm going to start it off with Vacuum Veil. Give her some hate. Uh, for Tifa, I'm going to use Emberlight Vitality, and I think for Tifa, I will put her, I think I'm just going to leave her right here for now and see if those guys come up the stairs. For Ayaka, I'm going to follow her down with June, but leave her within range of Tifa right here. And on top of that, actually before I move her, I'm going to cast Haste on Tifa, just in case Tifa has to solo those two units. Let's see here. For little Leela, I'm going to buff uh, 2B, and just leave her where she is. For 2B, I'm going to use Revitalize, and just run one step forward. Okay, so it looks like the Marlboros are heading right. 
Looks like basically everything is heading that, that same way right now. Okay. Let's see here. Here we're going to have Unyielding Strength and Unparalleled Strength. So I'm going to use this one first. I'm still going to let these guys get up the stairs. I'm going to bring Ayaka back here. And I think I'm just going to sit her for now. I'm not even going to do a buff. And I think instead of actually making my way this way, it looks like everyone's trying to fight their way up the stairs. I think I'm just going to meet everyone head on right up here. Okay, so I'm going to go for the Protect on Leela right here. For Joom, I'm going to bring her up right here. I'm going to go Wind Blessing for the Physical Shield. And for 2B... Hmm... I think I'll go Armor Deployment. And... I think I'm going to bring her out and see how well she does. Hopefully she doesn't trigger these uh, Marlboros. But if she has enough evade, hopefully with one more buff, she will be able to, uh, to kind of flank them from the side. So we'll see if she can do that. Looks like everything is still trying to go up the stairs. The Cactuars are going to come over. Okay, so one does get a hit, so they do have high accuracy. Um, I'm gonna go right here and get the haste on, I think I'm actually gonna skip one more time with Ayaka. Okay, and Tifa is ready to go. Alright, so we're gonna take our stand on the stairs right here. Um, Joom is about to take somewhat of a beating, but I think I'm actually gonna auto her for a second. She'll go for the agility down. Leela's going to run up the stairs and go for an AoE hit, so we take down the first opponent right here. Okay, so it looks like she still needs a little bit more evasion right here. Um, I am going to run her back just in case she's going to need a heal. Okay, for Ayaka, what am I going to do? I think I'm going to go for another haste on Tifa. We only have three of those, so that's two down. Okay, for Joom, I'm going to go first Swift Wind Defense. Okay, Tifa, auto on. Next Soldier down. Leela, auto on. Okay, so looking, so looking good so far. And then for my last haste, I think I'm actually going to save that haste. I'm going to wait. And ready to go now with 2B. So we'll see how we can do. Okay, so we almost took down one of the Cactuars. We do have the Arithmeticians coming in. They're going to be kind of annoying. Ooh, Tifa getting a little bit far away from what I would like. I am going to use Vacuum Veil on Joom right here and run her over to the side so that hopefully she pulls Aggro away from Tifa. Okay, the Marlboro is getting very close. Uh, for Ayaka right here, I am going to auto her. Hopefully she'll get the heal up on Tifa. Okay, thankfully that worked. <sighs> okay, getting close here with these freaking Maraboros. They are going to be kind of a pain. Ooh, those freaking accuracy on the Cactuars is brutal. Okay, so let's look at these Maraboros right here. Okay, so that's a, that ability is not going to hit. This ability will... Um, hmm. Okay, so I'm going to have her go for the first one right here. She is still kind of out of range. Uh, for June, let's see, that's not going to work. I think I will auto with her. Looks like... Let's see here. I do want her to heal. I'm going to have her heal Joom and kind of stand behind her. Okay, here we go. Here comes the grand fun. Alright, Leela. Hopefully she can take some stuff down right now. The Marlboro stays alive. Um, hopefully Joom could take something down. I don't think she is going to right now. 
Oh, that was beautiful. Okay. Looking good. Tifa's asleep. Uh, 2B is down, but... And for my last haste, I'm going to go full board onto little Leela. And from here, I am just going to auto through the fight. And I think that we should have it at this point. I really was hoping that 2B was just going to be able to evade her way to the front. Uh, but I think I'll have to make a mental note about the accuracy on Cactuars. They must be pretty dang good. Because they never even missed her once, even after her buff. Alright, it looks like we have one enemy left. June going for Aaron Sizer. Ooh, 10,000 point hit right there. June barely survives. Leela goes for the hit right there. And hopefully it is over. Alright, so first quest down. I believe that was uh, floor 67. That was pretty fun. Not terribly hard. I still think that so far floor 63 was uh definitely the hardest one that one was pretty tricky not gonna lie um and it looks like i did just get enough medals to get rain sword plus six so pretty stoked on that okay so we're on to the next level right here this one is full light we have mashari we have rob and we have camilo then we have two samurai or ninja maybe ninja then we have two Vikings, three Vikings, and two Time Mages, it looks like. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. So we have a couple options here. I, we can either go in with a full mono light team or a full dark team. Um, I think I'm just gonna rush this with dark. Okay, so let's see what we got here. I'm gonna switch Stern over to Anima. Um, hmm. I guess I can run him Evade. Although Evade hasn't been working too well. Definitely going to keep Bells on him still. Um, I think I will... Actually, I don't think I'm going to run Ruin Stern Evade. I think I'm going to run Anima in the sub slot. I'm going to run Maidens in the secondary slot. Going to Joker, I think... He looks pretty good. Um, Joker does need AP Regan, so I'm going to take the Ember Light uh, Vitality off of Dwayne. For Dwayne, I will run Titus's Shoes. Um, for Helena, she has her own TMR. And for Ju or for Garvel, I will go Swiftwind Mantle. Okay, so this is looking decent so far on the setup. I believe for Stern, we have the Golden Blade plus 5. I'm going to switch this to Esther's Sword for the slash attack resist piercing rate up. Okay, Joker's looking good. Helena, we have the Cypress pile. We also have this right here. Um, it looks like she might need a little bit more um, physical defense and maybe some speed since she's the only healer. For Garvel, I'm gonna take off the soul of Tomasa and I think I will put on the smart coat plus five. Okay, Dwayne looks like he is running the knight's armor. I'm going to switch him to Titus's necklace. At the same time, I'm going to go down and put him on... Let's see, maybe we'll start with the engine blade and then see if there's anything else I can put. I could put the thornlet, but I think I'm going to run him defensively, so we'll go with that for now. Um, all in all, I think that the stats look pretty good, so let's go through them real quick. Dwayne we have sitting at, oh, are we missing something? We are missing Ifrit. Okay, so if I put Fenrir on him, I am missing Diablos. And Diablos does give up dark attack 18, dark attack light attack resistance up. Okay, so that's definitely a card I want to run. Um, ch -ch 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 let's see okay so i'll probably keep diablos on Dwayne, and then on joker i think actually i know exactly what i'm gonna do i'm gonna run bringers of shadow on garvel for that and i'm going to run fenrir on Dwayne, and then on joker i'm going to run uh diablos okay perfect now let's look at the stats Okay, Dwayne sitting at 10.6 HP, 104 agility, 1330 attack, 34 defense, 25 spirit, 
all pretty good. 30% slash resist, 25 pierce, 60 magic. Negative in the other two, but all in all, not bad. Here we have Garvel, 8k HP, 106 agility, almost 1500 magic, 28 defense, 14 spirit, and basically all green across the board, 42 slash, 10 pierce, 17 missile, 28 magic, and negative 10 strike, so looking pretty good. For Helena, we have 7.5k HP, 104 agility, about 1700 magic, 12 defense, 4 spirit, 77% magic resistance in the back, 12% light resist, 12 missile, 30 slash, and then negative in pierce and strike. Okay, so not bad at all. For Joker, we have, okay, here we have, we're, some, we're missing something. He is missing his Esper. Okay, much better. Okay, so Joker sitting at 8.7k HP, 105 agility, about 1450 attack, 9 defense, 6 spirit, 32 slash, 35 magic, 27 missile, 15 strike, and negative 5 pierce, so not bad right there. And lastly, we have Ruin Cern right here, 8.2k HP, 104 agility, 420 dex, 500 luck, 1800 attack, 20 defense, 7 spirit, 47% slash resist, so not bad at all for the glass cannon that uh, this unit really is. Uh, he's not going to have Bells since I used it. Emberlight Vitality we're not going to have. We will have the TMR from Helena. We will have one cast of Swiftwind uh, Defense and Titus's Boots should work. All right, let's get into it. We have no status effects to deal with. We might have a slightly evadey Rob Horn, but all in all, I think that this shouldn't be too bad. We'll see how this goes. Okay. All right, let's see here. Here we have the two enemies up here, a horn soldier. Where are the bosses? Okay, we have Rob Horn in the back. We have Mashiri down here in the corner, and I thought there was one more. Um, I guess there isn't. I guess they're all soldiers, and there's only two names. Okay, all right. So that being said, let's get back to it. I'm just going to start off by buffing everybody. Uh, Joker's going to start off using his uh, barrier right there and protect on everybody. Garvel, we will start off with the Greater Chi Barrier right here for himself. Dwayne, we are going to start off with uh, Dark Mantle for the Light Attack Resist. I thought that was Light Attack Resist up. <laughs> uh, it's been a while since I used Dwayne. Okay, so for Helena, we'll start off with her TMR. I'm going to kind of put her a little bit in the back right here. For Ruinstern, whichever one of these has more TP, we'll start off with this one. Ruinstern breaking 10k HP, let's go. Wow, Mashri 30k HP, Rob at 20k, not bad. Okay, and so the battle commences. This is just going to be a freaking straight brawl from the start. There's the third named, it's Camilo. Okay, so he's over there in the corner. Alright, so they slowed Ruinstern, that's fantastic. Ooh, what a brutal hit right here. Okay. I'm just gonna auto through with Joker right here. Oh, he doesn't quite get the kill. Garvel takes out the first guy right here. We definitely can't let these guys rush us from all sides. Um, it will be pretty hard to essentially... Oh, this is a bummer. I didn't switch her to Arithmetician, so we don't have any heals at all in this fight. So we have to just smash the shit out of them as fast as we possibly can. Okay, and we lowered Dwayne's uh, light attack resistance. Okay, so second unit down, third unit down. Mashiri's going to do another hit right here. Hopefully Ruin Cern will go for her. He doesn't. He goes for this unit over here. He doesn't quite kill it, unfortunately. All right. We're going for a caster right here. Joker's about to run out of AP. Okay, but he does stop the cast. We'll see what Garvel does right here. Okay, so he knocks down that guy, so we're at five down. Dwayne's still more or less holding up. We'll see what Helena does right here. She's gonna go for the limit break. Camilo looking decently tanky. Dwayne barely hanging on. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna let Dwayne run it out to the end. 
He might not make the fight, but we gotta do what we gotta do. We still got the three named units. Oh, this is looking a little bit tough over here for Ruin's turn. Okay, Garvo goes in for the hit on Rob Horn. Man, I wish I would have checked to put uh, Helena on Arithmetician. Mushery's hit right here is going to really hurt. I think Ruinstern is about to go down. He is. Okay, Ruinstern is down. Helena going for the cast right here. Camilo going for the hit on Garvel. We'll see what Dwayne does. He goes for the buff. He's out of AP. Rob Horn down, the first of the three names. Joker comes in against Mashery. Camilo gets the jump on Garvel. Garvel looking quite tanky right now. I'm actually going to go off auto right here. I'm going to switch to Swift Wind Defense so that he stays tanky. Go back onto auto. We'll see what Dwayne does right here. He does have Rising Twilight. I wish he would have used Eternal Darkness. That would have given him Disable. Okay, so luckily Garvel did survive that hit right here. Mushri goes for the cast. Doesn't quite get it. And it looks like it is our team versus a lone Camilo. And he goes down. All right, so that was a pretty fun fight, actually. That was like just a straight blitz from the start. Um, honestly, probably one of the more fun fights of the, these floors right now. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see too much from Ruinstern. If we had had bells on him from the start, it would have definitely been like a rager of a fight. But without him having like a large pool of AP to pull from, it's definitely pretty hard. All right, so it looks like we have two floors left, which I'll come back to in a different video. Um, let's see, we have this floor, which is full water, so you guys can look forward to me bringing in a lightning team. And then right here, we have an interesting one. This is Chaos Odin, a Dark Worm, a Ice Phoenix creature, and then what looks like four ice units. So there's five ice units, one fire, three dark, and one light. So I'll probably run I'll probably go into this fight with a fire team and then probably end with a mono light team uh, or something of the sort. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That one was pretty fun. Um, I hope that these videos kind of help you guys uh, with these floors. I know that depending on which units you have, they can be pretty hard um, or not. When I do get through floor 70, I am going to show a video for like how to get through you know, like how I would quickly get back up to like floor 50 um, and then where to go from there and how to uh, beat certain floors by using certain tactics. So that being said, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video today and hope you guys are looking forward to the last two floors of Porcelain Tower coming up. Hope you guys have a great day. Take care. Peace.